name is Cesar, and I'm also known as the Plastic Batman. Yeah. Or the real Iron Man. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, I'm here to uh, tell you about uh, how to upcycle plastic bags into useful materials and products. Uh, but first of all, I want to start with a little bit of history. history, 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 history. Um, I am originally from Bogota, Colombia, and I migrated to Australia in 2004. Um, and since then, I've been uh, doing art here and developing um, paintings and street art, basically. Um, but I realized um, with the whole movement of sustainability that my work wasn't really uh, the most sustainable because you know spray painting is really not necessarily the best for the environment. And also the whole uh, thing of accumulating canvases if you don't sell them and things like that. So that got me thinking that I should make more of my art a little bit more functional. So, so I started doing like um, screen printing and things like that. The idea that if I um, couldn't sell it or um, I could just use it myself or give it away. Uh, I also do uh, did markets uh, where I sold my stuff and then I started developing a range of different things like wallets and pouches. Uh, that I was doing out of my um, old canvases and old paintings. It was then when um, I met my, the angel that changed my life and funny enough her name is Angela. She's uh, an amazing artist that introduced me to the method of um, fusing plastic bags together. That became my medium, uh, my main medium of art and design and also um, the main focus of my sustainability and So yeah now with these tutorials i want to show you exactly what i've been through uh, it's been nine amazing years of uh, learning about plastics and now uh, i also reinforce all those uh, learnings with um uh, studying at uni i did some industrial design uh, so that really helped me understand a little bit more about um, creating methods and finishing methods and understanding materials uh, so, so yeah yeah we're gonna start with the first uh, and very basic step which is making um, the main material and it's just by fusing a plastic bags uh, that, that I find uh, with an iron. So that's why I'm called the Iron Man. Uh, uh, so, so yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get on, get on with it. it. All right. So first of all, um, we're going to have a little bit of an introduction to um, plastic bags, uh, just to make sure um, that we know exactly what we're dealing with. I know there is like a ton of tutorials out there, like a ton. But uh, a lot of them don't actually explain uh, what materials you're using. They explain only the method. And I think it's really important, like absolutely, absolutely important uh, to understand um, what materials we're dealing with. So first, we're going to start with HDPE. And you would have seen HTTP everywhere in the times where there was um, shopping bags. Like now in many countries, the shopping bags are being banned, which is a really good thing. Um, but there is still a lot of commercially and industrially used uh, plastic bags to transfer food uh, for, from country to country. Uh, you can use it for things like, um, like smaller things, like making like materials like this and making a pouch, um, which we're going to see later on in videos. Um, but it's uh, really nice because it almost feels like paper as well. Uh, you can fold it really nicely. You can sew it very easily. Um, yes, uh, you can melt it from like a, a temperature between like 140 to 180 degrees. And you don't want to go any um, higher than that, otherwise you will be burning the material. Um, HDP is also uh, matte. It shines a little bit, but nothing like LDP and obviously um, a lot of people be like but how, but how, but how, but how, but how, but how do you determine what um, what plastic is what it might be hard to tell for you guys uh, in the um, through the through the video but this is got a high pitch sound compared to what we're gonna work as well LDP much lower pitch sound high pitch sound low pitch sound high pitch sound so that's probably the main way I use to tell what is what but I've been working with it so for so long that now I can just tell from a mile away so 
that is the properties of a, a HDPE or high density polyethylene and we're going to be using it a lot. The other type of plastic that we're going to be using is LDPE or low density polyethylene. So LDPE is definitely my favorite. favorite. Because it's a uh, it's stretchy, it doesn't shrink as much as it, uh, HDPE does um, and it's readily available everywhere. People use it for packing large things like mattresses and clothing and also food I find in like things like uh, coffee beans and nuts. Uh, it used it in packaging a lot um, and it comes in a range of colors. I only managed to get like green, transparent, uh, black and blue normally but sometimes I'm lucky to find uh, yellow and um, um, uh, white as well. And once you have like yellow, blue and red, if you can find red as well or, or pink, um, you can actually mix them and because they're translucent, um, you can actually make any color you want. And that's pretty much it for the introduction. And now uh, we're gonna start making uh, the main material or what I call clay, P-L-A-Y-E. We're going to learn how to make this material to make um, things that you can see in the background like bags and uh, wallets and pouches and backpacks and things like that. So um, I hope you enjoy the videos and enjoy the introduction. Make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the um, thumbs up button and uh, follow my videos and tell your friends.